Hello, and welcome to our lesson on rearranging formulae. So in this lesson, we're going to use the balance method to change the subject of a formula. We begin with question A, where A is equal to X minus Y. And we've been asked to make X the subject of a formula. But right now, you can see that A is the subject because the formula is equal to A. To make X the subject, we need to move this Y over to the other side. To do this, I'm going to draw a balance line down the middle of the equals. And this will help me see the difference between the two sides. So to move the negative y over to the left hand side, I'm going to add y to both sides. Because y take away y will make zero. So these will cancel. So I'm left with a plus y is equal to x. And because x is on its own, this is now the subject of a formula. So x is equal to a plus y. For question b, we have 3y is equal to wx plus t. And again, we've been asked to make x the subject of a formula. So I'm going to move the addition of t to the other side. And I need to make this addition of t equal to 0. So I take t away from both sides because t take away t will cancel. So I'm left with 3y minus t is equal to wx. And because wx is the product of a 2, I'll divide both sides by w, because w divided by itself will make 1. And I'm left with 3y minus t divided by w is equal to x. For question c, we have v is equal to i over r. And we're going to make i the subject. The opposite of dividing by r is multiplying by r. So I do this to both sides. And we have vr is equal to i. Because these two will cancel. And for question d, v is equal to u plus at. And we're going to make t the subject. First thing we do is move this addition of u to the other side by taking it away. So v minus u, these two will cancel, is equal to at. We divide both sides by a, and these will cancel. So v minus u over a is equal to t. Okay, let's try some more questions. So here we have three more questions, which combine the rules we covered previously. Do you want to try and rearrange each formula yourself? by pausing the video, and you can resume it when you're ready. OK, for question E, I'm going to make H the subject. So I'm going to draw a line through the equal sign. Again, this makes it easier for me to see the left and the right side. The first thing I need to do is move this division of 3 to the other side. And I'm doing this by multiplying both sides by 3, because division is the opposite of multiplication. So these will cancel. So I have 3P is equal to h plus v. I do the opposite of adding v, which is taking v away. So I'm left with 3p minus v is equal to h. In f, we're going to make t the subject. We begin by multiplying both sides by r. Then these will cancel. So we have fr is equal to m plus 4t. Now we can take away the m from both sides, and these will cancel. So fr minus m is equal to 4t. We divide both sides by 4, and these will cancel. So we have fr minus m divided by 4 is equal to t. And finally, for question g, we need to make y the subject. Now here I could either expand the brackets or I could move e3 to the other side by dividing both sides by 3. So these will cancel. So I'm left with w divided by 3 is equal to y plus t. I'll take away the t from both sides and these will cancel. And so I'm left with w divided by 3 minus t is equal to y. Okay, thank you very much for watching and I hope you found that useful.
Thanks again and take care.